Hey guys, Mo Coffin Cop of the Glass. This right here is a Samsung Galaxy S3. And this is Samsung Galaxy S3 running the TouchWiz software that comes stock with every Galaxy S3 or just in general any Galaxy device. Now this one I'm going to be showing you now is the Control Center from iOS 7. I'm Mo Coffin Cop of the Glass and let's take a quick look now at Control Center for Android. Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to want to know is why would you want to have Control Center on your Android device when obviously it's on iOS, so why not have an iPhone? Now, so you want to have the versatility of having an Android device with the customizable features, ROMs, flashing, etc. Um, but you maybe want to have that kind of finesse that comes with iOS 7 in terms of its design. Now, what this kind of offers is that same sort of design, but on your Android device. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't have the same frosted glass effect that you'd get on iOS, but it does give you the same uh, control controls and things like that that you find on the iPhone. So as you can see on the top here you've got your toggles for turning things on and off. So as you can turn on Wi-Fi, it says Wi-Fi is on, AirPlay mode, Bluetooth, etc. Um, and again in terms of the interface it's really quick, real snappy for turning things on and off. Um, not really had any problems at all. There's a little bit of lag with some things. You can see here the Wi-Fi one doesn't turn off what it wants to. And also the AirPlay mode again, having to click that a couple of times on and for some reason it won't let me turn it off. So it is a little bit buggy still at the moment, obviously it is pretty much the first release so there are updates pretty much on a daily level at the moment. Obviously you've got here the brightness control for adjusting the brightness um, and again here it's a little bit laggy in terms of if you see it kind of goes down in kind of interfaces and kind of one smooth transition like you get from the notification center it's more of a smooth transition going down and up than what you would get on the control center. You then have your volume controls again for up and down and again really easy there and again there's a quick toggle there to put on to vibrate. Now on the bottom here you are still going to have the same features again that you find in iOS. So if click on the flashlight just here you're going to see that it has illuminated the flashlight on the back. So again that comes in real handy for those situations where you do need a torch but you don't actually have one but everyone has their smartphone with them on a daily basis. Now the button next to that, what that is going to do is that's going to launch your alarm settings and again these buttons are completely customizable. Uh, the next button along obviously that's going to be bringing up the calculator which again sometimes comes in useful, maybe not so much. And again we've got here the camera button which for some reason on my Samsung Galaxy S3 doesn't actually kind of load instantly, you have to wait for a while. But once it is loaded, obviously you get the full camera functionality that you would normally get. So again, real nice, real quick, simple way to get to the camera there. And obviously last but not least, you have the button on the far right hand side, which actually accesses Game Center. So they've actually built a fake Game Center into Android and you kind of do get things for um, Zynga games, you got Bingo, things like that. So it does kind of recommend games that work with Game Center. Uh, and again it is very limited and not really much use if I'm being perfectly honest. Now one thing that you will be able to do though is also go into the actual settings. So if I just click into the settings now, you'll be able to see that you can start the service or stop the service whether you want it to be on there all the time or not. You can show or hide an arrow indicator. Now if I turn that to on and go back to my home screen you'll see there's now a little arrow along the bottom there that kind of fades away to let you know where the area is that is touchable. And then you're also going to have click arrow to expand. So instead of swiping up, you can just tap on the arrow to expand that. And also you can change things like the touchable area. Um, so you can see here you've got the left, center, or right. So depending on where you want to swipe up on the screen, you then also have the width and the height. So you can see the little green bar as an example down the bottom here. If I change the height all the way down, it's going to make it really small and a bit hard to get to. Whereas if you put it all the way up and then for instance change the width, then it's going to be a lot more specific in terms of how you're going to be bringing that up. Whereas if I do it over here, here, it's not going to bring it up. So again the settings themselves are quite um, good in terms of the uh, functionality and things and also you can turn on or off the touch vibration for haptic feedback when you are bringing up or down the tray. And um, so like I say it is a cool little um, nifty trick that you can have on your Android device and um, the app is currently free in the Google Play Store. Like I said they are kind of doing daily updates at the moment just because it is um, a little bit slow, some things do or don't work. Um, and as far as I'm aware if you do have a 1080p phone that haven't upscaled it yet to look amazing on your device. Um, so it is cool that they've done it, but it is going to take a little bit more work. But for now, that's Control Center for Android. I'm Mark Hawking, Copy the Glass, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.